AI generated content, most will use it as a tool to make better videos, but some will use it to confuse, mislead, misinform. YouTube recognizes both the value and the threat AI poses to the platform, so it's taking action. New rules, new steps, new penalties, and this is how it's going to impact every single creator on YouTube, including you. Let's start with the most important step you will need to take, AI disclosure. During the upload process, you will see this new option, altered content. YouTube have basically boiled down the entire AI policy into these three bullet points, and it's up to you to determine whether or not the answer is yes or no to this. Now, as of time of recording, interestingly, this option will only appear on videos uploaded through the desktop YouTube experience. And you can choose to ignore this option completely it is not a mandatory field to complete to move on to the next stage of the upload workflow. Now, time will tell as to how stringent and thorough YouTube will implement all of this going forward. In the support page on this topic linked in the description, there are a couple of mentions of stuff that will happen in the future. But it seems clear to me that YouTube wants to introduce all of this as slowly and as painlessly as possible so as to not upset the creator community. And the impact on your video, at least for now, seems very minor. If you say yes to altered content, a message will appear in the video description explaining how the content was made. Let's be honest, how many people are going to see that? A small percentage of the audience. And again, interestingly, at least for now, this message will only appear on the YouTube phone and tablet app, not on the desktop YouTube experience. So you can only set this option on a desktop computer, but you can only see it on a phone or tablet. Yeah, that makes YouTube sense. So if this information is buried deep in the video description, what happened to this warning label? The one that was supposed to appear the moment somebody pressed play on a video to inform the viewer that the video is AI content generated in some way. Well, it looks as if YouTube will make the decision for you as to whether or not that label appears. We're talking about elections, natural disasters, financial and medical information, stuff that can seriously and negatively impact lives if the content misleads or misinforms. When those topics are covered in YouTube videos, the more prominent label will be displayed for added transparency. So as read and understood, I believe that for the vast majority of creators, this label is never going to appear on their content, regardless of whether or not they use AI content. And this is where YouTube, I think, deserve quite a lot of credit. They're not using a sledgehammer approach and treating all AI content as something to be suspicious and afraid of. Instead, they're using a scalpel to be very intentional, really specific, only going after the bad actors to minimize the impacts on the creator community at large. And for this, YouTube have genuinely earned my yeah, appreciation. One final bit of housekeeping here. If you use one of YouTube's own AI tools, such as Dream Screen or Dream Track, you won't have to do anything at all. YouTube will take care of the AI disclosure for you. All of which leads us naturally onto the toughest question, which understandably, you all want an answer to. Which answer do you give and what AI component of your video is gonna push it over the proverbial AI edge? This is where things get really tricky because you're basically asking, what about my content? There are millions of content creators out there and every single piece of content is different. So... Uh... Let's start with the good news, clear and obvious stuff that doesn't need to be declared as AI. Video editing effects and tools. They've been around for years, and although they are AI in nature, it's all cool. What hasn't been around for years, however, is the generative AI production assistant tools like title generators, script writing tools, even thumbnail creation. Of course, vidIQ includes many of these tools, so consider this the green light to download it and use all of this sort of stuff without any need to worry. Next up is a really common question a lot of you have been asking about. AI voices or text-to-speech? I can answer this one, Rob. Yes, it is perfectly fine to use an AI voice such as this one, and you wouldn't need to disclose to YouTube that it's AI generated. On the other hand, if you use this AI voice, you likely would need to disclose it was AI generated, which sounds a bit confusing, doesn't it? The reason for this is that the first AI voice was just a generic text-to-speech computer voice whereas the second AI voice was a clone of my voice. And this is the sort of AI content YouTube wants to police. 
or at least add information about in a video's description. What you will see next is a full list of examples YouTube references as what you would need to disclose as AI generated. And you might want to pause the video at this point if you need to. It looks like any music synthetically generated needs to be disclosed. But for visuals such as people, locations and objects, it's a little more defined. The word you will keep seeing as you read this is real or realistic. So if a person is well known or the location actually exists, or if people of authority and credibility, such as doctors, police, emergency services are depicted, these should be marked as AI generated. And when you start to grasp the concept, this exhaustive list of examples can be simplified into the three bullet points we've already seen when uploading a video to YouTube. Simply put, if the footage looks real enough to convince a viewer that they believe what they are watching to be real, it needs to be disclosed as AI. I appreciate that for many of you, this won't be a good enough answer, will it? You've got specific scenarios and specific circumstances and specific questions that only apply to your content, don't you? And let's be honest, this doesn't help either. All of these video clips are 100% AI generated by a new open AI project called Sora. And they are incredible except this one. What's the sand doing? But all of these other clips look like real people or real animals or real locations, but they're not. And they don't remind you of well-known people or famous locations, but they look real. So should I click yes or should I click no? It is a dilemma that's likely to challenge and worry creators, at least to begin with, because 99% of us will soon realize there's nothing to be worried about. As I showed you earlier, for the vast majority of AI declared content, this message in a video description is the worst thing that's going to happen. As for AI content being suppressed in some way on YouTube, dare I say it, shadow banned, I've got excellent news. The support page clearly states that disclosing your content as AI generated will not impact the discovery of a video, or to put it another way, the YouTube algorithm and monetization eligibility won't be impacted either. Very reassuring, yes, although there is a but, which we'll get back to in a minute. Because first we need to address the 0.01% of creators this change is going to seriously impact. While creators may have much greater access to AI content tools now, YouTube also has access to AI detection tools. So if you don't disclose AI on your videos, YouTube may force a label onto your videos, which you have no control of. And for repeat offenders, this is where the serious punishments come into force. Removal of content, suspension from the YouTube partner program, and I wouldn't be surprised if community strikes and channel termination come into play for the very worst abusers. And to be honest, at this point, we're no longer talking about YouTube content creators. We're talking about bad actors who are exploiting viewers and trying to ruin the platform for everyone. And they should be justly and rightly dealt with. We saw a tweet on Twix recently saying that this new requirement was essentially a declaration of war on memes on YouTube. And I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below as to whether or not you think all of this is somehow eroding the essence of what YouTube is. YouTube clearly recognizes the creative unlock for content creators and the incredible potential of AI, but they also have a responsibility to the majority of users on the platform, viewers. Would a meme even fit into this criteria of being realistic? And even if it does, would a label in a description put off a viewer? And fundamentally, if someone can't tell a meme is a meme, then perhaps the meme itself is a problem and not YouTube's rules. In summary, I would say that if YouTube are true to their word and act as stated in the support pages, creators don't have much to worry about. As always, there'll be edge cases where this AI judgment is difficult to make. There will be false flags, mistakes, and some creators will feel persecuted in the way that they use AI in their content. As always, we'll monitor what we can and let you know what we find out. All of which leaves the but I mentioned earlier about AI content. And this but is nothing new. It's a long-standing policy on YouTube that's been around for years and many creators fall foul of. It's the emergence of AI that makes that rule easier to break. It's described as repetitious content that can be templated or mass produced. Videos that are so similar to each other, viewers can barely tell the difference. And AI makes this type of content incredibly easy to make but incredibly annoying for viewers. And naturally, we've made an entire video about this topic, and this is where you'll find it.